What's up? Welcome. Welcome to the stream about making Songbringer a video on YouTube, whatever you're watching. Welcome. Hello. Uh, man, it's been a busy ass, busy ass time lately. Last week was a doozy. Um, lots of work getting um, code bases merged in preparation for the PS4 version and the Xbox version and all that. But uh, now that that's all complete and in the past, it's time to get um, back to you know some more refinements, bug fixes, um, and you know minor creativity. I really won't be introducing really any new features in the next month or two, or three. Um, but it'll be a lot of little refinements, you know, like doing the art a little bit better here and there, and you know, improving items, things like that. So today. Um, today I'll be working first on, let's get up in my little Trello this year, on these lore story elements. Um, so I've, I've created these lore pillars. Let's go to one of those lore pillars first. These are all the Verlocs. Here's some other stuff. Here's the Viper lore. These used to be lore. Let's see if they're still lore. Actually, it's probably smarter just to find all the areas that are actually lore first. Oh yeah, so that one still is. Cool. So there's a lore pillar. Okay, so when you meditate next to these things, you get an item. Tommy Killer, what's up? How you been, man? What's new? All right, I want to list all the places that have this. So, five, four, one, seven, one, two. Oh, good. Four two three, three two four, one two five, two two six, one two seven, one one eight, and zero zero nine. There probably need to be one more of those actually throughout the world. I think this covers all the bosses except for the lightning boss, so there's no Songbringer dungeon lore pillar. So they'll need to be placed somewhere magically in the world, some secret place, the lore pillar for the lightning boss. Oh yeah, your exam final hand in. Oh damn dude, I know that feeling. That's how my last week was. Jace. Well, I wish you all the best luck through this process, man. Yeah, I've been the same. I've been the same. I'm just finally starting to not be stressed out. So I can kind of, you know, relax a little bit more, stream a little bit more. <clears throat> Five, four, one. Okay, we got them all. Okay, so now we need items represent this we've already got let's go to the, all this Sarira Sarira one two three four looks like we're gonna need ten more of those nice you only got one last exam cool that's good to hear. Sounds like light is at the end of your tunnel.
So that's um, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We're going to have a lot of Surya right now. Nice. Placement, huh? Wow. Rocket Bunny. What's up, Rocket Bunny? Five. And I'm having a tough time typing right now. Nothing much. Well, what's new, man? What's what's been going on? How's school? How's Portland? Easy but nice. Yeah, you miss it. So what's the... I figured. Is that how you guys say it? I'm still bean? Is that right? So what's your family's plan, man? Are you guys going to stay here or are you going to go back or what? What do you want to do? Doesn't translate. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh, cool. So you're going to go back for uni? Great, man. You'll get back to your, your awesome land of awesomeness. Your country of your home. How has everything been lately, man? How are you you um how are you adapting lately to us Americans? American ways, American foods, American music. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty. Okay, looks good. We got the Nam Sarira gear component. Count Sarira. But yeah, it's weird, right? Bigger roads, more cars, no EDM radio stations, right?
Okay, here's where the Sarira combine into Enlightenment. So this needs to be... Uh, yeah, this is this should already work. Yeah, it just gives you the it gives you the fear armor as soon as you've gotten all of the Sarira. And now that we've increased the Sarira count, this should function as it did before. Let's make sure there's no other cases where it looks for item Sarira one. How close is the game to release? It's getting really close. Um, so yeah, the release is going to be, the release window is this summer. So sometime this summer, June, July, August, summer, somewhere in there we're, we're going to be releasing. We'll have an actual release date. I imagine pretty soon, relatively soon, we'll finally have an actual release date. I can't exactly say when, but as soon as I know, I'll be announcing it everywhere. Let's just double check these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, that's good. Okay, so now we can go and hook it up. So every time you meditate near a lower pillar, you get the Sarira item. Okay, so these all the lower pillars need to function a lot like rock face. You got an art project. Pictures of things that a certain song makes me think of. That's cool. Sounds like a fun project. Okay, the lower pillar already has a dialogue item. I guess, let's go to the story. Man, it's getting hot in here. So it'll be like the rock face actions. This rock face is meditating, has not Sarira 1. Uh, and it does whatever rock face dialogue. And then gives you item Sarira 1. Okay, so there needs to be an element, a story element for every single one of these lower pillars. Yeah, ORK, what's up, man? It's going really good, man. How about yourself? So let's go ahead and make this story element, at least one of them. Get this started. So we'll call this lore one, Z one through nine. Exists lore. Actually, I think we could use pattern lore even. What pattern is this?
Wow. Everything is so slow when I stream. It's taking forever to run this. Good. You finished all your finals? Nice, man. And your master's thesis? Oh, congratulations, dude. Yeah, man. Props. That's amazing. Wow, what a good thing to have. Like, what a huge amount of progress, dude. Cheers. That's amazing. Interesting. Time to upgrade my Mac to a PC. <laughs> uh, no, what I really need is a dedicated streaming computer and some like proper lighting and camera. <clears throat> okay, so lore one, we want to have not Serrer four. Item Serrer four. Dialogue lore one. Something like that. Yeah, I'm sure it's a huge relief. Oh yeah, yeah, the lower, the overlay thing. I hope that helps out. People watching the stream will be like, oh, who's this? Oh, look. The information I was looking for, right here. Okay, so now it needs to be hooked up in the use meditate. What the heck? Maybe I had two copies of Songbringer open. That might explain why it was so slow. Look at this. Look how long it took to recompile. Yeah, what features are in the new in the game? Salad! Ahoy! A vast. <laughs> uh, that was great. That was great. <laughs> oh, it's so great. I'm not even going to try and correct it. Right on. Those are the moments you live for, right there. Nice one. <laughs> Thank you, Arcane. We couldn't figure out how to type that. Oh, that was difficult. I was like, hey guys, is it capital H? All right, so we'll need a variable for doing rock face, or I mean, doing the lore. <laughs> With the tab key. Flood, what's up? How you doing, man? Here, I'll type one I think I'm pretty sure I know. Yes, there we go. How's it been going, bud? So if not do ending, and not do open boss doors, and not do rock face, and these are gonna be not do rock face, not do lore. You doing well? Good to hear, man. I'm doing well, too. Quite well. What's this one? Nice. That's a cool one, too. Okay, so a little bit of logic to trigger these Sereras and this, element, this story elements here. Lore 1. So we're going to have lore 1 through 10.
Flood, man. So what's new, dude? The so game's going really good, man. Yeah, it's been really, really epic times. Um, just two months ago, it was at, you know, PAX and um, GDC, and that was a total awesome whirlwind. Um, lately, it's been the final crunch time for the video game. So, yeah, Songbringers, pretty much, I'm in, I'm in crunch mode right now. I'm feeling a little bit stressed out here and there, but uh, overall, I'm doing pretty well. You know, it's a lot of pressure to get a game of this scope all finished and stuff. There's so many little elements and lots of little bugs and things like that. So it's uh, I'm for, I'm personally starting to see the light. You know, finally starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel, and uh, I'm really looking forward to having Songbringer all finished. One, two, three, four. But that said, I'm actually not tired of working on Songbringer. I'm just, I'm kind of tired of the whole crunch phase. You know what I mean? It's it's easy to get burnt out when you're in crunch mode. So, um, I will probably, if Songbringer does well, I will definitely work on an expansion. Like, I'll just start working on an expansion right away. Because uh, I really love this game. It's, uh, I'm really proud of it. I'm re it's, it makes me happy to play it, you know. You're going to build a computer from scratch with transistors? Crazy, dude. And they're going to give you an allowance? Nice. Yes, right, the 80-20 rule. Yeah, the 20, I'm in the 20 right now, which is taking just as long as the first 80. There's so many ways to apply the Pareto principle, right? I don't know, because you weren't responsible enough? What am I doing to celebrate when Songbringer launches? Well, we are actually going to have a release party. So there will be some kind of release party here in, in this the San Francisco Bay Area for Songbringer. I'm thinking that will be open to the public. I'm not sure exactly, but yeah, it might as well be open to the public. So... <laughs> have a nap, yes. Have a nap. I'll I'll take a nap as soon as it's all said and done. But personally, really, what I really need is just to go like hike. I just need to go hike some mountains and just get out and just not even use a computer for a week. You know, if I would I would say I would go to Burning Man, but this year I can't really go to Burning Man um, because we're going to be launching the game right then. So, probably, you know what I mean? This summer, we're coming out, like, you know, it's coming out sometime this summer. So, basically, I can't really go to Burning Man. I can't really do anything. I can't really plan any events this entire summer. So, I kind of got to, like, play it by ear, release the game, and then go, like, take a nap and go for a hike. Yes. Inspiration from nature. It'll be hiking, man. There you go. Yeah. Exactly. Hiking, man. <laughs> that actually... You know what? You may have just started something right there, Salad. I would not be surprised if eventually there is a hiking man. Or maybe there already is a hiking man. You just hike in and everybody parties somewhere, all hiked in. Do rock face. If not do rock face, maybe do lore. Or do Vel. Or do Kusanagi. Do rock face, do lore, do shake. Oh, we want to do shake. Do lore. 
Having kids is hard work, right? How how has that been going? Do silence if we're not doing rock face and not doing lore. Yeah, she's three months old now? Yeah, I bet. I bet you're tired as hell. It's super tough, huh? Ugh, that sounds hard. Sounds really hard. Personally, I'm one of those people that really needs to have enough sleep to be able to function. It's like my wizard juice, man. I gotta drink my wizard juice. I gotta get enough sleep at night. If I don't get enough sleep at night, I don't got wizard juice for the next day. So I hear you, man. That's a real tough thing. But she's is she happy and healthy? Yeah, and the anxiety too. Ah. Uh. Oh, I know. I mean, I don't know, but I mean, I hear what you're saying, man. Okay, let's see if this works. All right. Getting those smiles and that love. Right. Uh, makes it all worth it, huh? Let's see if this works. Nothing happened. Okay, wait. Let's turn on story verbosity. There we go. Dude. She's happy and healthy, good. Yeah, <laughs> interesting conversations. I can't wait too, man. I'm happy for you. That's great. Congratulations. Like just just the fact that you had a healthy child is a huge thing. Something's going on. Like my my computer is like super extra slow today while I'm streaming. And I'm trying to see if it's something obvious. It's like taking four times as long just to compile or run the game. Mm hmm. I guess. See, like, what's kernel task doing taking 20% of CPU right now? Oh, it's the MDS. Oh, it's. Do I have. I don't have Xcode open. Why is kernel taking so much? Like everything, even the Google Chrome helper is taking like a lot more CPU than it should. Oh well, I think of once I stop streaming, it'll probably be back to normal as usual. I don't know why it does this occasionally. Anyways, let's try and figure out why Rockface is not triggering here. Should be triggering the Lore 1 event. Let's check it out. Lore 1, Z1 through 9 exists. Lore, oh, wait a minute. Did I name the Lore pillar? Yes, it has a name called Lore. Okay. Has not Serira 4? No, Serira 5. 
did I already have? Let's see, surreal. No, I didn't even have that. Okay, that wasn't it. Well, let's fake. Let's see. Oh, wrong pattern. I see it. I see what's going on. This is not supposed to be pattern rock face. Pattern lore. Okay, good. It worked, I think. Let's go back to there's one little string I want to change here. Lore one, Cinderphon, brother of Metatron. These should all be archangels. Oh, you got work in a couple hours? All right, man. It's probably late for you, huh? Thank you, man. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for saying hi. And um, appreciate you always saying hi, man. I really do. And I look forward to next time we get to say hi in person. Yeah, I'm sure. Later, man. Okay, so the thing is now to hook up all four, well, ten more of these four things. Okay, let's make sure the first one works. I should check if it works. Good night, man. Check if it works um with all with it all in the right. So this is supposed to be actually lore one plus lore lore two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. So, but what this does is basically, if the player had, um. Like, if the player first finds lower pillar number four, it will first... Oh, wait a minute. No, these are not supposed to be like that. Oh, yeah. Lower pillar one is only supposed to go with, with dialogue one. Uh, okay, so this is wrong. What's up, Rune Word? It's going very well. Thank you. How about yourself, man? How are you doing? All right, so I just typed all that, but don't need it. All right, so now we need 
Let's do all 10 of these events. Just put this all in place and then test it. Because that almost always happens where I go and like do one little thing, test it, and then I'm like, okay, I got to apply this 10 times. And then I'm like, oh, wait, now I got to go test it all again. So it's, it's best to just do the work first and then do all the testing. My alerts are broken. What you mean? Oh. Yeah, I did do this last time, huh? It looks like something changed on... Uh, I guess I got to... Uh, wait a minute. So there's this thing. I learned how to do this last time. Uh, Twitch alerts. There we go. And then I got to press this button. There we go. I think that fixed it, huh? Oh, and the and and the freaking This is suddenly just too big. Gosh, dude. Can't ever keep, keep things nice on computers, man. They just change. Computers just change all the time. Nice. I'm glad that fixed it. Gotta remember to take that off or update that or something. Twitch alerts, Twitch alerts even rename themselves, right? They can't, companies can't even say the same name. <laughs> I'm complaining, things change too much. <sighs> Streamlabs, that's it, right. Streamlabs. They do. It's Skynet. Ah. So, hey, wait. I wanted to ask you guys something. Um, Twitch finally reached out to me and said, hey, do you want to be an affiliate? It's not a partner. It's just an affiliate. Yes, I did check out Rain World. I have. I do own Rain World, and I really like it. It's cool, man. What about yourself? Have you been playing Rain World? Uh, but, so, two topics at once here. Like, um... What do you guys think about, if I if I actually clicked yes to be a Twitch affiliate, will that change anything about how I stream to you guys? You recently became an affiliate too? So wait, did it did, did it change does it change anything for your viewers? Like I don't want to mess anything up. I don't want to click yes if it's going to change anything at all about the streams. I don't want there to be more ads. I don't want there to be I guess if there's less ads, that'd be great. Oh, so it just means you can get donations, right? So it wouldn't it wouldn't affect you guys as watching, really, right? And you haven't noticed any differences. Okay, well, that's good to hear. Awesome. Okay, great, great, great. I just wanted to make sure, so I can click that button with confidence now. You know what I mean? Because the, the really the thing I don't want to do is have have like more ads or like any more commercial BS show up for anyone. I've never had any ads on on my YouTube videos, and I don't ever want YouTube ads. You know, I want people to be able to watch those without without the annoyance of ads. Okay, so lore 2 is 1 through 9, exists lore, has not 6, give you 6, dialogue lore 2. Alright, so let's repeat this. We need 10 of these. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Good. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear. Oh, nice sub button so that's kind of like the um that's kind of like the twitch partners right there's like you're like a streamer and then you become an affiliate and then you can become a partner and the partner's like the the best deal right 
Right? I kind of do too, I gotta admit. About Rain World. <laughs> right? It totally. Yeah. I mean, I kind of, I kind of, I got to admit, I kind of went into it thinking, gosh, I have so much work to do on my own video game. I can't really get hooked on another video game right now. And so I was kind of glad when I really didn't get hooked on Rain World. But like, that's kind of why for me too, it, get, it frustrated me so much sometimes that I just, I was just like, this is not really something I really feel like playing right now. But I do want to come back to it. It's like, it's really amazing. You know, it's a super, such a rad game and I was looking forward to it for so long. Yeah, it's just definitely very difficult. I haven't even made it out of like the first one or two sections or whatever. Okay, so three is seven, dialogue three, item seven. This is four, and item eight. There's five. I have nine. Or six. So what else? Are, are there any other cool games that have come out recently? People been into? What about what have you guys been playing lately? All right, the spawning. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, it's kind of that that unfair factor, unfairness. Yeah, right, right. There's like there's the difficult like but fair, and then there's the difficult and unfair, which is a big big difference in the difficulty factor right and especially in your own mental handling or response to that difficulty Seven Eleven. Eight Twelve. Nine. And lore ten. All right, I think we have all these in place now. Oh, yeah. Oh no, it kept killing you when you loaded your save? Oh man, that's brutal. Yeah, that's probably a bug, huh? I would almost consider that a, a bug in the fact that, you know, the game mechanic is that you're supposed to go into those sleeping spots and be able to sleep peacefully, right? Not sleep with the guy right there. Dang, man. How did you, what did you do about that? Did you have to start a new game? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's check over all these lore elements. Lore 2, lore 1. Lore 1, lore 1, zero five, zero five. You Really? You managed to get out without getting killed? That's a... Props. Props for getting out. Was the first thing you did was like, go save again? You're like, God, I gotta go to another shelter right away. Get myself saved without this guy. Or two, six. Or three. Right? 
You're like, run away! Four, four, eight, eight, five, five, nine, nine, six, six, ten, ten, seven, seven, eleven, eleven, eight, eight, twelve, twelve, nine, nine, thirteen, ten, fourteen. Okay, looks good. Now it's time to test it. Test all these pillars, and we need to place this one last pillar. Yeah, right. I feel that way too. Yeah, that too. It's really, really neat. Have we seen any games like that yet? I'm sure there's been that kind of element somewhere in some game, but it is kind of cool how they did it. And how they really... They could have made so many choices with that game against that whole living ecology concept, but they really went with that, that concept 100%, you know? And so it may, that's what makes it so unique. It seems like so it makes Rain World so unique is like that that design choice going with the living ecology and all that. Okay, let's see if this um we'll get the first lore item and it should give us Sarira number five. Yeah, right? It is. It's a real bold it's a bold design choice. Because it kind of like, it kind of is hard to balance and it's hard to debug. And they even admitted it. I remember, I remember, look, why, or was it some, it was a podcast. I remember listening to a podcast with the developers of Rain World and they mentioned how damn difficult it was to debug some of the things in their game because they had to do that whole living ecology thing and they had to like, they had to go. You know, sometimes they had to wait like an hour for the same event to like happen exactly in the same way so that they could debug something, which I'm sure was freaking so time consuming. Okay, one last thing. I want this to be able to law, um, to glow so I can easily check whether I've got these pillars before and also it'll be cool for the player so we want to go and add some kind of graphic to the top some kind of glow I guess it is a no shadow. Hmm. But, um, entities, lore pillar. What is it? It's, oh, at lore. Okay, so it's zero lore or one lore. Oh, cool, you're on break right now? Nice. You been playing Prey? Nice. I just gotta remind myself which one um, Prey is. Oh yeah, you, I think you, you mentioned this a while ago. So what's what makes this kind of like a what what makes a system shock game in your mind? And what makes this game kind of like that? Cuz I haven't played System Shock or Prey. So what what is it about these games?
All right, so let's get a normal cursor. This is needs to be a pure white. Alright, something like this, but maybe we'll take this right side and either slightly darken it. Yeah, let's uh, darken it or transparent. I guess transparent. No, I haven't. What's the, the bit sharing again? Oh, wow. It's like the first person Metrovanias, really. Oh, cool. So does that mean like it, it, does it unlock like more and more progress based on your items and stuff? Like your items allow you to do stuff in the world, allows you access to more areas and stuff. Hmm, okay. Right, right. Cool. All right, so let's call this one Zero Lore Glow. zero all right now we've got that we can conditionally add the glow at runtime really is what needs to be done so they're worth one cent per bit to buy them and they can be earned Oh, cool. So it's like you can still donate, but they can also earn the earn the bits so they can they can donate in other ways. And some people some people are gonna want to donate via cash and some people are gonna want to donate because they just earned it. That is really neat. I love that. I love it when I love it when a company like is confident enough that they can do that and they, they're not really it doesn't seem like they're worried about the income from it. It's really cool. Like when a player can earn it, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know either. I don't know how it works. But I, I guarantee you it probably does work. Unless they're just getting funded like crazy right now and they just don't care. They did just get bought by... By Yahoo? Is that right? Or Amazon? No. Amazon, right? Didn't Amazon buy Twitch just a minute ago? Yeah. All right, so this is in the create misc tile. If we're creating a lower pillar tile, we might conditionally activate it. All 
Yeah, I've, I've been meaning to activate that. We have Amazon Prime. Or actually, my lady has Amazon Prime, basically. And so I guess the only reason I haven't done it is because it's kind of her account. I don't want to, like, throw my Twitch on her account if it's going to, I don't know, like, change anything for her. Nice, you earned 10 bits, right on. That's kind of cool. So it also rewards people for something that originally was something that was just like, oh no, another ad. It'd be nice if I knew what each one of these pillars, uh, what the corresponding item was. Oh, okay, so you can top out. Oh, there you go. Maybe that's it. Um, what is it? Okay. The problem with this is we, we don't need those exist lore. We also need a style character for each one of these. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, so lore one is going to be style character one. So what would have happened with these is it would have um, it would have allowed any one of these lore pillars to run at any or any one of these lore pillar events would have ran at any one of these Z levels. So it needs to be based on the style character. Okay, and then lore pillar ten will throw in a cave somewhere, so that won't be style card C because it doesn't. There's no lore pillar on the on the Songbringer dungeon. So let's make sure it still works. We can still trigger this first event, and then we will make the lore pillar conditionally have a glow if you already have the item, which means. Kind of need actually a constant value for the number of rock faces because rock face uses up four of the serira and then the other serira are lower. So, number of serira, we also need number of rock faces.
All right, let's get that compiling. All right, now the item, the item that's being required is K item. Well, first we'll do an item type cast or construct with K item Serira one plus K num rock face plus the style character the style Z is the style character minus zero and then clamp that between 0 and 10 actually 0 and number of Serira ah, whatever 0 and 10 so that plus that plus the style Z should be the item type that we're going to need and then if the player has that item then add the glow. If we have hero, Okay, so we're going to create a sprite. Kit sprite. No. 